I finally got my huge word count. And when I say huge word count, I mean in comparison to what I've been able to do in the past. I don't compare myself to other people. Other people got different things going on in their lives. I can only compare myself to me right now. Um, you know, most, not all, but most writers try to, you know, have like a set word count for each day or they try to do something each day. Um, I don't do that. I have anxiety and the pressure to try to reach a certain word count every single day is too overwhelming for me. But I do like the idea of each month being able to have more words at the end of that month than I had the last month. And that's been working for me, you know, really excited about what I was able to do in the month of March. As always, I am so grateful to my Patreon community for being there and being that kind of incentive that I need to keep me on top of my writing goals. And if you are wondering, yes, I am in my comfy. If you don't have a comfy, you don't know what you're missing. So I'm in my comfy <laughs> and I'm doing my little whip update here. So let's get into it. So whew, the numbers. All right. So the two ongoing kind of short stories that I've mainly been working on right now. Um, I'm going to start with the first one. They're both fantasies, but very, very different <laughs> fantasies. Um, the Legend of Mainland. I've been, you know, doing it installment and kind of each time the story is like evolving into something. And so I'm actually getting close, I think, to the end of this story. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close to the culmination of what this has all been leading up to. So for the month of March, The Legend of Mainland, make sure I'm looking at the right notes here, yes, okay. So the total word count for The Legend of Mainland in the month of March was 1,639 words. So yay, proud of myself for that. The other story that I've been working on, um, Twilight Moon, this is a, um, a re kind of a retelling. It's inspired by um, legends of the either golden stag or white stag from um, Eastern European culture. And I'm just really putting my own spin on it. And I'm actually doing something that I don't usually do is I'm writing from uh, YA, perspective I young adult is something that I've always struggled reading um, even when I was younger especially as an adult I don't relate to it a whole lot so this has been a real challenge for me but it's been fun to do so with that said um, the total word count for Twilight Moon in the month of March is 1846 words so again so proud of myself with what I've been able to accomplish so let me just backtrack a little bit the Legend of Mainland, basically what I did last month is I started uh, the third installment of that and I kind of hit a wall with the creativity, um, creative, creatively. <laughs> and so anyway, in the month of March, I was able to finish that third installment that I started and then also complete the fourth installment. And like I said, I think I'm getting close to the end of that story, We're maybe two or three four at the most installments left in that story because I'm really getting close to the end. And so with the Twilight Moon, I was able to do two new installments for it um, in, the month of, ugh, in the month of March. And what I've been doing with this story is kind of going back and forth between different perspectives. It's written in a third person, but each time it's, it's but there's two main characters and I've just introduced a third character who is going to be important. Um, and he, this character was kind of previously mentioned, but it, you didn't know at the time that they were going to show up later. And so they've shown up and I'm just excited about where both of these stories are going. So before I wrap up the rest of this whip update, I wanted to mention something else that I've made a lot of progress with, and that is illustrations for the book that I've been working on about my rescue dog, Margie. And I am not a professional illustrator by any means. <laughs> um, I did illustrate my other children's picture books, but I used, basically did the drawings on the computer and it had a very cartoonish feel. And I did that on purpose for, you know, what I was doing with those stories. That's how I wanted 
them to look. I had a you know specific look in mind with my limited talents. I was able to pull something off that I thought was acceptable. The challenge has been, I knew I didn't want that for this story that I wanted to write. And I've been trying to work with different illustrators, but I'm just a control freak. <laughs> so um, I wanted to do it myself. And, and therein lies the, the, the issue is that I'm just not a professional illustrator. So it's a very long and grueling process for me to try to come up with illustrations that are good enough, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna be winning any awards here, but um, I, I do think I've got something that's gonna capture what it is I'm, I'm wanting to do. And I, of course, I forgot to write this down, but I do believe I have 13 pages like illustrated. Um, again, these are just kind of like, I'm doing it in phases and so, these 13 pages are pretty much done, but they still need like background, they need some details, and of course they need color before they can be formatted. But I'm just excited that I've gotten as far as I have. So not to drag this on too much longer, I did a lot of writing in the month of March. I did a lot of illustrating in the month of March. I've been doing a lot. I will be taking a vacation the last week of April, so I may not get as much done in April as I did in March, but I'm still excited about what I've done. And um, for my Patreon supporters, they know that I have more details coming up for them. I'm actually gonna be sharing some of those illustrations with them, see, get their feedback. But that's all I have for now. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, if you wanna know more about some of these stories, just let me know, I'll be happy to share. And until then, stay safe and be blessed.